Tsirka Lisi believes that the reason his team claimed an unlikely victory over the old foe was due to a never-say-die attitude. The Springbok captain maintains that the drive and determination not to disappoint a teammate pushed the former two-time world champions to hold on for a shock result in the New Zealand capital, only their 36th in 96th meetings. He didn't speak a lot. It's actually been a regular week, a normal week. He's actually actually took, he put more responsibility to the players, took the responsibility of the coach. You know, we asked for more so we could do more. And it was a normal, regular week for us. We, I think we just wanted to play for one another. The skipper says that during the game at the Westpac Stadium, the only thing his charges could think about was to stave off the challenge from their hosts. The thing that was running in my head is that am I working hard enough, am I giving my best at all times? That was all that was going through our heads throughout the whole game. And that's what's been driven to us by the coaching staff and that's what we expect of each other as well. The Springboks made over 235 tackles compared to their opposition who dominated possession and only had to make 61. But the challenge now is to maintain the standards set in Wellington for the next encounter against the All Blacks at Loftus Fasfeld next month. I think that's a, that's a tough part, that's what we spoke about after the game. That's, that's what we need to do, you know, that's kind of the standard we set. But I think it's the best game we've played in the, defensively basically, it's the best game we've played and we took our opportunities. And I think that's the most important thing, is building from that. That's what we're going to be working on. Victories over the mighty All Blacks are hard to come by. And although the win here in 1995 is arguably the most famous of them all, the triumph in Wellington will go down as one of the most impressive, purely down to the fact that defensively the Springboks were immense and because no one gave them a chance against the top team in world rugby. It will be savored for some time, but more importantly, it also comes at a time when Springbok rugby was in dire need of a lift. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.